The breakthroughs of Biafra is already counting ahead. As we speak now, we have some possible redemption on what the gospel already is. This is just how it is. And a true life story has engaged ourselves in more possible ways. That's where the game is. We must continue to help ourselves in a very particular way, in such a way that things will not go bad, in such a way that we must understand that our fight for Biafra cannot be escaped. Now, uh, for so many days now, we have been meeting congressmen of the U.S., congressmen of that country, congressmen of this country. And let me explain to you what congressmen will do to Biafrans. You know, a very big energy. It's going to produce... and put us in a very remarkable way. That's getting what we want. Putting ourselves together and understanding the possible gain. That's where the storyline begins. A truth that cannot be remeasured. A truth that cannot be put aside. So as we continue to near this whole journey of making sure that Biafra is victorious, we must understand these possible gains. One which is, you know, one which is a, a whole lot. So as we continue to spread this very, very important victory across the U.S., you must understand that someone everybody is doing his own work, engaging himself. <coughs> and putting itself in a very proper order. So, everything has gotten to that point where everyone must understand. So, our gameplay our restoration is becoming more physical and that's where the storyline is so as we win we win properly well and as we gaze high we gaze properly well this is just the very beginning of what the storyline is Piafra the point we are now is the point of no apology. The point of no apology. That's the point we are now. The point of any main cause on African Kiefe. We have now come to realization that the rate at which the Biafra movement is given, you know, is bigger than any other expectations. And that's where the journey is. 
I guess in the point. Now, the Biafra Republic government in exile, finance minister and a delegation of the Biafran American met with Congressman Tom King Aaron in Washington DC to discuss Biafra and the Biafra Republic government in exile, as well as many issues pertaining to the Nigerian government. This is a follow up to the previous meeting with Congressman King. Things are already at the doorstep of what it is, of where it is, and how it is going. We must take a very big understanding on what has already happened. And transforming this whole package into the biggest part of it all. We must duly understand how Biafra has become one of the biggest nations to be talked about. You see, why Biafrans are busy paying sacrifice for what, for, for what they want, the open manuals are there pointing fingers. We are going to achieve it. The day we achieve it, we say, oh, we want to come to Biafra land, but when we are paying the price, they were busy hanging around. That is why Biafrans are now seeking for their own nation, wanting a country of their own. It all gets better. It all gets better. Because whether you like it or not, a lot of big deals, a lot of big breakthroughs are coming towards this whole ramification. Now that the Biafrans are now discussing this Biafran stuff with Congressman Tom King in Washington DC, it goes a long way. To tell you that this very breakthrough is now the most recorded, most blessed one. And that is why I tell you that in no time we are going to achieve this nation. And everything that is happening fast. So, let's come together. Let's become the most interesting voice in this whole scenario. Biafra or nothing. <laughs>